fellow yes. compared to a few of the others here. And uh, he likes to get back in his races and run on. He might find the fence. That's what he likes, Bernie. He likes mm. getting onto the rails and steaming home. Winston Smurf Hills, number eight. Not too many look better than him in the yard, Maxie. Natalie McCall, Luke Tarrant. Well, there's not too many in this race going better than him. He's, he's won his last three, Sunshine Coast, and here at the Midweeks at Eagle Farm. So um, he, he's, he's climbing in the, you know, the ranking. So he's just got to handle this higher level, but he is in great form. Enterprise Mia's the nine, O'Day Hoisted, Ben Thompson. She's a, another one that doesn't carry a lot of condition, this mare. Blinkers have been removed because she can get a little bit keen and she likes to stride forward. So she needs to relax a little bit. And uh, she's had a couple of runs back now. The blinkers are off, so... It all looks good. She'll go forward. I think she might have a bit of company as well. Star of Chaos is the 10, Tony Gollan, Ange Jones. They got a tune out of her last start when living a stride to the lead. It was uncontested and she was too good. Possibly try similar tactics here. Sea Ripples the 12, $15 chance. Chris Munts, Damien Thornton. Only the one run back from a spell was okay when midfield behind Ned's Gully back on the 12th of August, so a few Saturdays ago now. Second up, um, has placed on a couple of occasions, second up in the past. Shah of Goma, six fifty into six dollars. Chris Waller, Mark Duplessis. Well, he's third up from a break as well, and he was in the As a Reach race where our Magnus finished slightly ahead of him. And I thought he was good because he drew poorly. He had to go back and come around them. And I think today third up from a spell is spot on and, and Mark Duplessis is riding him at the, the 53. And Bedford Square is number 14, Jack Bruce and Malia Castle. Yep, I think um, she's a good roughie as well. Um, she was good last start running third here behind Viminelli. Those form lines are soft. Light on. All set. Final event today. Stand by. Racing Brisbane. Titanium came away slowly at the start and Bedford Square was sluggishly out. Star of Chaos began fast. Manawatakbe revved up today. He's showing good speed. Third away, Al Magnus. And then came Winston Smurf, Hill Enterprise, Mir and C. Ripple. Bulb Warrior in that bunch as well. And Hard Raver, Shar of Gamer, popping into bit. Just a touch worse in midfield, went off the rail. Then came Fast Coney. A few legs away, Bedford Square. Lucky decision. And Titanium is last of all. Into the first bed, 900 left to run. Star of Chaos, the pace setter. Leads Manawatakbe by a length and our Magnus. Orman has the favourite sitting pretty third the rail. Three wide there as they run down the side was Winston Smurfill. No lead for him today. C Ripple in fifth position. Enterprise Mir, a victim of the alley. Caught wide, hard raven near the rail. Then Bold Warrior, Shah of Goma. Now travelling into the picture. Three wide with cover. Fast Cody, fourth last on the fence. Bedford Square, third last. Lucky decision, second last. And Titanium was the trailer. By the 400 metre pole, Star of Chaos in full flight. Our Magnus now starts to wind up on the outside, trying to come after this leader. And I can see Shire of Gamer putting in a strong run down the outside. Our Magnus immediately under pressure. Star of Chaos still a leader. Shire of Gamer giving chase. Then came our Magnus who can't go on. Then Bedford Square. How much gas in the tank with Star of Chaos? Shire of Gamer's run has ended. Star of Chaos all the way. Beat home Shire of Gamer. Bedford Square on the rail third. And maybe Titanium fourth. Hard Raven not far away. Our Magnus had his chance. Then Fast Coding, Enterprise Mia, followed by Lucky Decision, Sea Ripple, then Winston Smurfill, Bold Warrior, and Manawatakbe last over the line. Well, uh, she's been able to do what she did last time, roll along in front on her own, and home she goes. Star of Chaos giving Ange Jones a double today. Shara Goma was good. He was on the back of a couple coming into the race, but he had to come wide there in that big field, and Star of Chaos got a big break on him. He's really narrowed the margin in the straight. He's made up about five, Shah of Goma, but um, she was getting it cruisy and has been able to make it back-to-back -back wins. Bedford Square zipping through along the inside to get third and then titanium. So 10, 13, 14 and 7. So Star of Chaos, trained by Tony Gollan. He's only had her for three starts. They liked her at a first start at Doombin back in late July. Uh, but things didn't work out at all. And then back to the drawing board, changed uh, changed up the gear with her. And she hasn't looked back, Bernie, uh, burning the candle at both ends. Granted, she's been getting it pretty cruisy on the lead. 
Yes, Tony has certainly got this lady worked out. So well done, Tony, on back-to-back -back wins. Yeah, thanks, Bern. It's really good to get a horse for Q or a stud. Uh, Lukey Wilkinson and the team sent her up, and I probably erred a touch first up. I did some gear alterations, which I probably shouldn't have, and we got her right out to a trip second up, and she was really good, but she had that bit of a space between runs out of that 13.50, and I just thought she was absolutely spot on today, the 1,400. She was a fortnight between runs, and she was... She was just in a really good place. So she showed that today. I was, I was versatile enough. I didn't really mind where we were in the run anywhere in the first three, but it just panned out. She pinged the lids like she did two weeks ago at Doom and she put herself there. And, and she, she didn't go too slow. She went a nice control gallop in front, but she was going quick enough. And having been a, a mile winner in the past, I was no worries about her running a strong 1400. Yeah, I love seeing these sort of genuinely run races, you know, where so many horses are actually disadvantaged stacking up in front. Yeah, well, I think, I think our two winners today both went in a good genuine clip and they were strong enough to hold off. And they're both horses, you know, got, had good form enough down south to come here and do a good job. So I really like this mare. I think if obviously they're going to keep racing, I'd say, for the next year. And if they do, I'm sure there's, there's more black type racing, particularly up here in Queensland with me ahead of her. This is great for Angela as well. Oh, look, she's, there's not much more I can say about her. She won the Apprentices Premiership by 100 yards and just run into a couple of really hot seniors last season. But for a first year out of a time, she's in doing, she's in working hard every day at our stable. She hasn't had a one day off. So, you know, we don't rest on our laurels and she's certainly not. So she's doing a great job and she deserves everything she gets. Not like you to work jockeys hard, Tony. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> well done. Thank you. All right, there he is, winning trainer Tony Gollan. That's a double for Tony and Ange. 10 beats, 13, 14 and 7. Let's head to Hawkesbury. Last race of the day, it's a midway benchmark 68 over 1,400 metres. Let's start with one of those in the market here, Nick. Number one, Akahiro, Sean Geimer for Gary Portelli. Yeah, run to soon and ran on fairly last start there at Kensington. He's since been back to the trials at Warwick Farm where he's ridden to lead and really asked to win that heat. Hasn't won in a while, but drops in grade, and this is his easiest contest for some time. Good support uh, throughout the last few hours for number two, the great Houdini, Jean Van Overmeer for Greg McFarlane. Yeah, it was run to suit last start at Newcastle, but he hit the line. Clear so early on in the straight, but she's done well, and um, she likes it here at Eagle Farm. I love that you're listening to these horses. You're rolling at just the right tempo. Yeah. Um, Not too slow. It helps when they, they want to go at that speed as well and some of them don't let you go too slow. Golden hands. Well done. Thank you.